All righty, boys and girls. Did you miss me? I know you did. Hey, today we're going over the Tessman Smart Digital Meter TM510. And whenever I say smart to you pea brains out there, remember, we're trying to get you to walnut size brains. Uh, but I'm dealing with a bunch of peanut size brains. It's called smart. You don't have to be smart to use this one because it's all automatic, okay? It's a perfect meter for the pea size brain. Okay, why? Okay, listen, I don't have a lab coat. I don't have a college graduation gown, but I do have a pocket t-shirt and some smart uh, street smarts, okay? Common sense, I like to say. Well, here it is, people. I didn't unbox it for you. No, all you people that like unboxing, this ain't your channel. I'm showing you. I already got unboxed, and my green screen sucks because half the stuff is green. Look, it's green. You won't see it, but you'll see it. Okay, there. Bam. Boom. Gone. There, okay, listen, it's smart. It figures out if you're doing AC. It figures out if you're doing DC, and it figures out if you're ohming out test continuity of wires all on its own because it's smart, okay? And right now, this meter is on sale for under $14. You can't go to Harbor Freight. You can't go to Lowe's. You can't go to Walmart and get a meter as smart as this, as smart as this meter at the price of this meter, okay? Let's start going after it, okay? Let me show you. It comes with the box. I, mean, I, already, bo I already unboxed it, I know. It comes with this manual that's half green, so you won't see it. Very, very good meter. You can read it. You can understand it. It's good. And it comes with this little pouch to keep all your, all your stuff and keep it safe. This it comes with a rubber, rubberized case, <laughs> which you aren't going to see because it's green. And I am doing a green screen. Trust me, it's got a nice rubber case sealing it up. So if you drop it, it's going to protect it. And these nice two leads. Okay, let's start. Let's turn it on. Hold down the button. There you go. See what it says? Auto. All you pea brain people out there, it's auto. It's easy. Okay, and you got to lead leads. Now, you know how continuity, let's start out with continuity. You want to test a wire to see if it's good from this point to this point or is it broke in the middle well you want to know if it's if you touch this end and this end do you hear that beep can you hear the beep it might try to cancel it out but it's beeping right now i got noise cancellation it might cancel it out but trust me it beeps and then it shows you that it has no resistance okay i know i can't hold this up here, let's just show you here. I can hold it up. Let's try here. There you go. Look, it even has a neat little light that comes on. I didn't notice that before. It got a little light that tells you, yeah, we're all the way through. Interesting. See, I learned something new today, too. Freddie, sit down and be quiet. Quit picking on Karen right now. Okay. These kids, I'll tell you, these kids today, boy, you got to stay on them. They're, they're tough ones nowadays. All right. Basically, you got that feature. So it, it tests that. Let's, let's, uh, let's go with uh, some DC. I've got this hooked up to a DC battery right now. So let's go ahead. See, I'm still in auto. I haven't changed anything. Yet. So we're going straight from ohms. I'm going to stick it in here. And where's my other lead? Oh, my gosh. All right. And I'm going to stick it in there. Oh, <laughs> I, need, I need an assistant today. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. All right, there we go. I got them backwards. See, it's in minus 13. So if I switch the leads around, I would have 13.4 volts. Look, it automatically said, and it's telling me that it's DC up there in the window. <laughs> Again, it's perfect for you pea-sized brain. Okay. Just in case you don't believe me, again, we're still... Oh, my gosh, my dog is on the wire. Dottie. Okay, you're good. You're good. All right. I got my... Well, my assistant isn't very good at holding things. 
My dog, she just lays on things. Okay. Now let's do a little AC check here. Look at that. 125 is telling me up here that I have AC at 125.8. I know my, my voltage is kind of hot in my house, but just a little bit. But it's up there. But uh, yeah, that's from the AC outlet. How cool is that? See? You don't have to be a rocket science. I'm going to take the leads out. I'm going to take the leads out. I'm going to show you another function. If you hold down on this button right here, it's going to go into NCV, NCV mode. It's going to be able to test power. See, you just bring it up to here. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's given an audio, audible alarm, and it's also got a red light on there. See, and now it's gone. Well, that lets me know, without even sticking a probe in here, that my out outlets are hot. And so if you kill a breaker and you want to make sure before you start messing around and sticking, you know, screwdrivers on hot leads and stuff, you just hold this by it and it'll tell you if it's hot or not. I mean, under $14 right now. All right. I'm going to turn off NCU by holding it down or back to auto. Okay. Now, you also, if it's dark outside, you hit that button. See, it illuminates it. So you can see in the middle of the dark with that button. Also, if you hold down on the button, it's a flashlight. That's right. It's not very bright, but it's only got two AAA batteries in here that came with it. Comes with two Duracells, believe it or not. No cheapo batteries, Duracells. It's got flashlights. And, uh, yeah. Under, listen, if you already have a multimeter, fantastic, right? But if you want one that you just want handy to get, you put it in your, uh, your junk box or something so you don't have to go out to the garage to get your meter, throw it in your car. Listen, just have a backup meter. In case the battery is dying, your other one or something, you got to check something out real fast. I'm telling you what, or you don't have a meter. This is the perfect meter to get started on to have in your kit. Now, again, I went over watts, amps, and volts on my last class. You have to be able to read watts, amps, volts. Well, this will do. This will do voltage for you. Now, the fine people at Tessman. You know, they just can't be giving everybody free stuff. I did get that meter free. I'll be honest with you. I got it free. They asked me. I've seen reviews on them. I'm like, that's a cool little meter. I'm going to throw it out there. So whenever I want to test batteries, see how the voltage are, see if they're charging or not, and how full they are. I got a nice, I can test volts. If I'm working on the car and I want to find a lead from way up the front and the back, see if it's you know, making contact or which wire it is back there. So you can run another wire along the outside of the car, twist it to the wire you're looking for until you hear it beep. That's another class for another day. That one's perfect for troubleshooting wires and voltage and everything. Now I also have this meter. Uh, it's a DC clamp. And it's a good meter and everything. I'm not, and uh, the DC clamp, if you clamp out around one wire, you have a positive and negative. You can't go around both. You just go around one wire. It's going to tell you amperage. And that meter does DC and AC. Well, the good people at Tessman, they also have a meter that, you know, hey, let me try that one out. I'm sure. But if it's got all the smart functions of this meter and the DC to AC clamp. Now the DC clamp is what costs you a little bit more money because it, I don't know the technology in it. I just have a pocket t-shirt and a street cred. Go watch somebody in a lab coat or a graduation gown to find out why it costs more. I don't know, but they have that meter for $39, same as that one with all the smart technology and the Finding out if the, you know, if the outlet is hot. It's got all that and the DC clamp. I saw it on sale uh, at least yesterday for $39. I'll put a link in the description below. 
I hope they're still on sale. But this other meter, I think, is regularly 16 but for under $14. Yeah, go spend your money. Buy something really... Ex now, if you're a hardcore, you know, you're breaking down electronics and uh, going to component level, might not be the meter for you, obviously. But if you're just wanting to know what the, the, you know, the voltage of your car battery is, or is the alternator charging? Are wires connected? Again, the Tessman, let me get, where, how can I lose a meter just sitting here? I put it in the bag, people. I should have known that whenever I picked it up, if it was heavy or not. But no, again, you get the nice leads. You get a nice case that you can't see because it's green. But that case, you can kind of see it outlined right there. See it? I'll hold it. It's got a nice rubber case to protect it. I'm just... I'm $14. Actually, under $14. Probably $13.99. But, great deal. Guys, I'm going to be working on my solar outdoor kitchen. Look at some videos down below. Uh, I got a... I'm going to build a solar generator in a filing cabinet how cool is that you know the drawers will open up i can bring out my coffee pot my george foreman keep them out of the weather it's a metal box it's so it's safe you know to have the batteries in in case god forbid they catch on fire or something like that and i got it for 20 bucks along with a plethora of free stuff that costs 100 i got gloves there's an old oil rig company that was uh selling their bit their building and they had a free pile Heck, I got hundred dollar, over a hundred dollars worth of free stuff, uh, mud boots, gloves, free coffee even. Believe it or not, coffee pot. I could go on about that. I know you're bored, Fred. Quit picking on Karen. Okay, let me get out of here. You got all you knuckleheads. Let's get from pea size brain up to walnut size brain together. And remember. You're learning from a guy with a pocket t-shirt. So, yeah, you know, I'm going to show you what you need at a great price. How about that? What you need at a great price here in this classroom. Boys and girls, God bless you. Have a great day. And by all means, get interested in solar and figure it out before you lose power in your house.